Hello guys, my name is John. I'll be doing my presentation on Philip Spanner. Philip Spanner was born in January 1635 in Alice province in Germany. He was um, an author, um, a theologian, and a leading figure in the movement of pietism. Um, pietism was a Protestant movement that focused on personal growth and upright conduct as the most important in our Christian faith. He was born into um, this time of period where European was going through um, a lot of war. Um, especially in the Christian war, it, there was a conflict uh, between the Christian themselves uh, over dogma, uh, over doctrines and practice, um, and they were fighting over that, uh, killing each other, and it was um, one of the most devastating war in European. People were hurt uh, demographically, economically, and especially it have a lot of effects on their spiritual. Spanner was um, born into a deep uh, Lutheran um, family. Um, he studied in one of the best Protestant schools, uh, the University of Strasbourg. Um, he was this young guy who was very interested in uh, an academic life. Um, the day that he graduated from uh, University of Strasbourg, he also got married at the same day. Um, and after he graduated, um, he was called from Frankfurt to be their pastor there. Um, like I say, although he was uh, very drawn into an academic life, he accepted that call and he went to Frankfurt to become a pastor. Um, at the age of 31, he became the superintendent um, in Frankfurt for the Lutheran. Uh, the Lutheran. He founded a... Um, uh, this small Bible study group uh, called Colleges of Piety. So his preaching was that um, the Christian life should be um, much more than this uh, academic. Uh, for example, he said there should be no differences between uh, a layman and a clergyman, um, a layman should study the Bible and devote themselves as much as a clergyman. Um, they should have their own access to uh, the Bible and have their own devotion, spiritual devotion. And this reminds people so much of uh, Martin Luther himself when he talked about all people should have access to uh, the Bible and read for themselves. So all over the country, uh, a lot of people uh, thank him, uh, sending him letters and stuff uh, for this kind of movement. And so he founded this small group of people um, doing Bible study together and they come and discuss uh, the Bible, the theology, and things like that. And this uh, Colleges of Piety, this small Bible group, grew uh, from 5 to 10 to 20, 50, 100, and it just um, grew a lot, a lot, and to a different cities also. So this become known as uh, Pietism. One of um, the things that he focused on was um, 
also um, sanctification. Um, in Lutheran, uh, Martin Luther was um, focused on uh, justification uh, by faith uh, that our salvation and our justification has nothing to do with us and it's all come from uh, God grace um, but he paid very little attention to uh, sanctification so Spanner uh, although uh, a very deep convicted Lutheran um, also um, pretty much um, emphasizing on sanctification he wasn't very favored by a lot of Lutheran uh, theolo theologian leaders um, so when he talk about um, he will teach his followers and other Lutherans that one should pay very uh, much attention to sanctification also um, the Lutheran theologian leader says that he, in truth, is a Calvinist and not necessarily a Lutheran. Um, but yeah, his teaching was all about uh, insisting constantly to return to Scripture, to read with a devotion. And one of the most um, greatest achievements under pietism was the birth of a Protestant missionary. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, during this time, Europe was going through a very difficult time, uh, especially with the war, the fighting between the Christians. And a lot of people pay attention to their neighboring country, and especially in missionary. Nobody was really sending out anybody and it was also true for the pietism at first they didn't um, really focus on the neighboring country missionary they focus uh, just like everybody else was on uh, the own institution schools and taking care of the orphans um, the the poor so they didn't really think about sending anybody out until um, the king of Denmark wants to send um, a missionary to his colony at India. Um, he called to Herman Frank at University of Hall and he asked uh, Frank to send two of his uh, most promising disciples to India and so um, they sent Bartholomew Zeigenbock and Heinrich Pluschow to These India two went to India and founded the mission of Trenkabar and so um, they report back to Germany about their uh, success and all about their mission and when the news got out all over Germany uh, many pietists become more and more interested in the, the missions and soon under Frank leadership University of Hall become a center training for missionary and that become one of the most uh, success that comes under pietism. That's it for me. Thank you so much. Have a good day.